Welcome back everybody. Still dancing because the Fountain of Youth music is still playing. And bring on the immigrants. We can select not very good ones, but uh, everybody's welcome. Lumberjacks, ore miners, indentured servants, more indentured servants, even more and more and more. Now, this is what Europe looks like. These people are all waiting to get to uh, the new world. This is uh, quite a big thing. Right, I messed up on the horses. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to kill a few horses. There's nothing else I can do. And sell them some guns. Fisherman, yes, excellent. Now let's see, let's make a few pioneers. This is actually fine. Four tons of horses has been <laughs> thrown away. Four thousand kilos or pounds or what is it? That's a lot of horses. Fine, let's do seven. Seven seventy five. At least he'll buy more tobacco now. Uh, actually, this guy should probably set up the colony over here. This is a pretty good spot, really. It has that uh, little timber thing going. I'm quite happy with this uh, particular piece of land. I like it. I like the big lake in the center as well. For 1500 again. Uh, let's not push our luck. 1425 is fine. We can start constructing some buildings. Because we need docks in order for that fisherman to start uh, actually fishing. You know, it might be a bit expensive, but I kind of want carpenters. It's a thousand bucks to train them. <coughs> That's expensive. Let's have another artillery. Actually, let's have two, because I'm going to found uh, a few colonies now. Also, good, uh, good uh, music in the background, this. Good too. Now these I can just train into farmers, which I will. Yeah, that Fountain of Youth has really kickstarted uh, our little empire overseas. 
think I've already been here, right? Yeah. How much for the trade goods? I bought this for 200, so uh, 700 is fine. Now let's set up a silver uh, silver city right next to it. And I guess that means right next to this little Cherokee village. Uh, let's go train some more people. Would be nice to get a tobacco planter and a cotton planter at some point now. But there's lots on the wish list. I want uh, carpenters to really start constructing some buildings. I want elder statesmen to really get the liberty bells going. And I should at all times keep the defense in check. I have at least one cannon in every colony. This is promising. Oh wow, he gave up rather quickly. This square does not have access to the ocean. That's exactly what I had in mind. This is a silver city. Strange. Do it like that. And now all of a sudden it does has uh, access, and we will call this the channel. If you produce enough food, eventually also the colonies will grow and you will, um, you know, breed your own colonists. And uh, I'll definitely try and do that. This is just a trade for the Indians. Oh no, let's do the horses. Yeah, we're getting somewhere now. This is our uh, new cannons. We'll put one in Fur City. And one in the channel. You can see these uh, little exclamation marks on the cities from uh, the Indians. That means they are alarmed. And the more they are, uh, the more exclamation marks there are, the more they are alarmed. Here come the Span sorry, the French with uh, some troops, by the way. Let's hope they play nice. Expert fisherman. Right. Here are the horses again. I'll not haggle too much. I will uh, try to get a fair price on the tobacco instead. Well, a fair price for me, that is.
just checking, uh, sorry, that was a bit fast. Checking to see if this ship didn't take anything from the other ship. Fifteen hundred. Aha. That's a shame. Ah, they are more alarmed. That's probably the reason they won't haggle as much. It's because of those uh, artilleries that are passing by. I already have a fur trapper, no thanks. I'll just continue on to the next village. It actually changes, by the way. The profession uh, those Indian villages uh, train, it can change with time. Well, I'll just have to park this uh, galleon for a while. Cherokee tribe was pleased, but a little bit concerned we are growing over their lands. Oh, he did build a settlement right next to there, so I can imagine. I think there was an English scout we saw there on the bottom of the screen. Let's save some money because I have a little plan brewing, but uh, I'm not too sure if I'll set it in motion anytime soon. I will fill you in on it in due time. I think the Indians are less alarmed now. Let's see what they uh, if they want to pay their usual fifteen hundred for the tobacco. Maybe I should settle for less. Maybe I should settle for twelve hundred. At least that way I'm still making uh, six hundred profit on every shipment. Oh wow! That, ladies and gentlemen, was an Aztec city. Where was it? Where was that? Here it was. And I'm being cut off now. I cannot escape from this particular... Yeah, 1200 probably. One more? Okay, 1400. You can see I'm not taking a very aggressive route uh, so far. Just trading and exploring a little. Chatting with the Indians. Smoking a peace pipe here and there. Benjamin Franklin has joined our Congress. Excellent. King's European wars no longer have any effect on the relations between the powers in the New World. And Europeans always offer peace, which is quite handy. You have plenty of lumber, so you can help building the docks. Start training with the Indians as well. Get the maximum amount of food. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna use this forest for chopping wood. So, can get rid of this. Sugar plant, yeah, that's fine. However, my colonies are beginning to overuse the lands. Yes, I know. That's the plan, actually. Conquered native settlements always yield treasure in greater abundance and the king's galleons transport the treasure free of charge. I will take this man. 
because I think I will pay a particular Indian tribe of, uh, a visit. Um, and I believe they are called the Aztecs over here. And I might stop playing nice. Six hundred is fine. Now he wants tobacco again. A sugar planter, huh? Tropical forest will turn into savanna, which is good for sugar. Um, so I can build it pretty much right over here. Or move to the side. There's savannah over here as well. I guess this is a good spot. Maybe actually one further inland. Yeah, it's close to the capital. I will pretty much build all my colonies around this little lake over here. Oh, crap. The route is cut off. See if this little guy is smart enough to turn around now. Uh, okay. Well, I'll decide in the next video what I'm gonna do with this. If I hold the main city tools party, I will pretty much throw all my tools in the in the water, and I'll not be able to buy them anymore. Yeah. I'll see you in the next video.